Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here today to share with you my most recent haul from the Bathing Garden. Um, I love the Bathing Garden's wax. The owner's name is Shannon. Um, when I did my show my stash, you guys saw my collection from the Bathing Garden, which is, you know, I would say on the on the large size. Um, but I do melt through quite a bit of her wax. Um, so because I keep it all in one place, I do definitely see it decreasing, decreasing. So I went ahead and placed an order. This is from her, I think it's like mostly like her Easter and like early spring. And there's probably some other, you know, um, things maybe thrown in. Uh, so I know people are very eagerly waiting for, um, her Wonderland release, which I would think would be coming up really anytime now, maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend. I am not ordering anything, um, from that collection. I still have stuff from it previously and I am good. Um, I don't need to bring in a whole ton more. So I picked up things from, from this purchase. I picked up stuff, um, that I've never had before and have been curious to try a couple repeats and maybe I have a few brand new to me sets. So it is not a big, this is not a big um, haul. It's pretty small. So as we know with the bathing garden, if you have ever ordered from her, her stuff comes beautifully wrapped. First of all, I mean, there's lots of bubble wrap in her box. Um, I did overpay for shipping. She did refund me seven dollars. Um, her stuff comes okay, like I said, very well packaged, secure, and then also beautifully packaged as well. Not only are the looks of her wax gorgeous, but she wraps every single clamshell individually in colored tissue paper. She loads you up with some amazing free samples, which always blows my mind. Um, and then I also have these, which we will talk about in a moment, but I want to tell you guys what she sent for samples now that we're almost three minutes in. So some things I know and have sent for, um, sent descriptions, other things I do not. So bear with me as we go through this. The first sample is Eat Me. Um, so I believe that this is from, I think this is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. So adorable little buns. I'm not going to take these all out. And Eat Me is rich and creamy caramel, um, custard, cocoa butter, honey, sweet cream, and dark chocolate. I do not like chocolate and wax, but this honestly smells really good. It almost comes across as like a banana, like a chocolate banana to me. But you get that, you definitely, like I said, you get that chocolate, you get the cream. Not overly um, caramel, which is fine by me because I am not a ooey gooey caramel fan. But this is an adorable little sample to try out and to see. So very impressed with how this smells. Again, this is Eat Me. We'll just slide those over. Um, oh, and I should say her samples come in this bag. It is tied up. There were extra samples on top of this that didn't fit in the bag that I just kind of like squeezed in here to be able to show them to you. And yeah, the next sample is in Dream Cake. And that is what it looks like. Just beautiful. Um, dream cake is cotton candy, pink velvet cake, raspberry, vanilla cream. So, I'm not the biggest fan of her raspberry. I know I've said that a bazillion times. And I love raspberry scents. This definitely smells better than it did the day that it came. Um, but you get that raspberry. You get the cotton candy. I think the cotton candy mixed with the raspberry makes it a little bit better for me. So I will definitely melt this. Um, so that's it. And just, I mean, her 
stickers on her wax are just, they're so beautiful. So that's a dream cake. We have blueberry brown sugar tea. This may be from the Alice in Wonderland collection. You guys, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I've ordered from that collection before in the past. I just don't know them all. Um, so again, really pretty, just like the one I just showed. But this is in a pretty greenish blue with lots of sparkliness. And blueberry brown sugar tea is blueberry crumble with brown sugar, sweet black cardamom tea. So I love tea scents. And honestly, this doesn't really smell like blueberry. You definitely get the cardamom. This is different. It's pretty. It smells pretty complex. Like, so that is that. I'll try to go faster with the sample so we're not here all day. This is Alice's Memory Garden. So clearly from the Wonderland collection. Pretty. There's just little flowers. And how beautiful is this? I just don't want to take it out and get, I just vacuumed this rug and already I'm getting glitter and stuff over here. Okay, so did I have a, yes. Alice's Memory Garden is rose sugar jasmine creamed lavender milk. I do like jasmine. Uh, yeah, you definitely get it. The jasmine's the strongest, and you get that rose in there. And a hint of lavender, I would say. So that's pretty also. Nice spring. Nice spring scent, for sure. So there's that. We have a Queen's Decree. Uh, this one I love, and I put... I put a sticker on the back of the sample, which I never do, but um, this, I like this, I want. I really do want this one. And a Queen's Decree, a Queen's Decree is Lush Clove, Peppermint, Nutmeg, and Cream. So you most definitely have to be a clove lover and a mint lover to enjoy this one. And it's just in a cute um, heart. So really, really good. I would definitely get this when I'm ordering. Uh, scandalously Talking Flower Bomb. Again, I'm pretty sure that this is from the Alice in Wonderland collection, which is so smart of her to send those samples because makes you want to go buy them. So this is Clary Sage, Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, and it is supposed to be a dupe for um, Lush Sex Bomb. And this one I like. Um, yeah, I do like it. That Ylang Ylang really pulls heavy. Um, and I do, I love Sage in wax. So there is that. And it's a cute little bunt. So that's, that might be a pretty bedroom scent. Then we have this, which I've had this uh, many, 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 many times. I've bought clams and clams of it. And like I think I said before, this and another one has kind of, like I just melted it so much that I'm okay not repurchasing. This is World Through the Keyhole. And it is sweet vanilla cream, sandalwood, and light musk. And it is a pretty substantial heart. And it's just a soft, very soft, slightly cologne. No. I don't want to say perfumey because it doesn't really hit that. It's just a, like a pretty feminine scent. Um good for really anywhere in the house. I wouldn't say that it's a like bedroom bathroom scent. So that is that. And again, like I said, I love, love, loved it so much. I melted it so much and so often that I've just kind of moved on. Now I'm just going to empty out what is in the rest of the sample bag. Yes, these are still samples. This one, oh my God, you guys, I've never had this. I've never, I don't even think I've ever seen this. This is Wonderland Coffee Shop. And I could smell this. 
as I was opening the box. So, this is, oh my God, this is so good. Oh, this I do want, but this is a delicious, almost if you had ordered like a regular cup of coffee and asked for an added, like an added shot of espresso in your coffee. Oh, this is a delicious scent. I could just smell this on cold and be fine not melting it. This is a really perfect, perfect coffee. It is just, I couldn't find scent notes on this, but this, to me, this is not like hazelnut or vanilla or over, like there's no sugar. It is a straightforward, delicious smelling coffee. So I would definitely recommend this if it's offered in the Wonderland collection. Wonderland Coffee Shop. Smells amazing. I have Country Berry Shortcakes, Hot Cakes, um, which I've had before lots of times in samples. And it's okay. It's like a mixed berry scent with like a slight hint of like bakery. Um, I'm not crazy about it. It's nice. Um, but I've never ordered this in clamshells or anything, but happy to have the sample. So there's that. We have the contortionist, which I have had before. Um, and it is green tea, ginger crystals, cherry blossom, and clotted cream. And you get that cherry blossoms for sure. The tea note and it's slightly ginger, but this one, this one I will take out. Look how pretty that is. It's just like a spring, 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 spring. Really, 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 really pretty. And again, that is the contortionist. This would be great on a cleaning day. Really, really nice. Two more to go. This is hippity hoppity. This is definitely like from I would guess from her Easter collection. And Hippity Hoppity is pineapple, coconut, honeydew, and fresh squeezed orange. And it is fruity, fruity, fruity. Mostly pineapple and coconut. And I get like a touch, a very small touch of orange. I'm not really smelling like melon, like the honeydew in here, but very pretty. Love that rabbit. And that is Hippity Hoppity. And the last sample is Strawberry Nonsense. I do not like this one at all. And when I was smelling it, oh, I said this has to have zucchini bread in it. Because when I saw the name Strawberry Nonsense, I was like, oh, I wonder why I haven't bought this. Well, one, um, I don't know. I feel like strawberry can be hit or miss. But you guys, this has zucchini bread in it, which you know I am not a fan of zucchini bread. So it's zucchini bread. Strawberry jam, sun ripened strawberries, cotton candy, and French vanilla. And I do not like this at all. Nope. I want to like it. I want to like zucchini so bad. I really, really do because it's in so many things that sound so amazing. But it is dirty feet and Fritos to me. And I cannot. I just, I can't. So that will find a new home. And that will be that. All right. We will do the clamshells. Oh, I did order... This little guy in lemon gla lemon glass, lemon grass sorbet. So let me see. I do have my invoice. I'll tell you the price. Uh, lemon grass sorbet was two fifty, and it's these adorable ice cream scoops, which I love getting these. Um, and it's herbal lemongrass, lemon rinds, tangerine, mandarin, um, and sugar sprinkles. So. You definitely have to love lemongrass. Oh, because that's what this is. And I love lemongrass. To me, it's a very clean, fresh, like natural scent. It is not lemon pledge. It is just herbally lemon deliciousness. And I love it. And I am very happy to have this. Um, so, so good. So that is delicious. Okay. Like I said, not a big order. I have a couple clamshells, these guys, and we are done. So Frolic, which is a repurchase for me. Let's take a little look at all of this beauty. Gorgeous. Okay. 
and I do love this. And Frolic is Blood Orange and Patchouli Fizz. And it is a Lush dupe for Karma. And it is just that. Patchouli, citrusy goodness. Love it, love it, love it. Such an uplifting, again, to me, a very clean scent. I always classify patchouli two ways. There's like a sophisticated patchouli and there's a dirty patchouli. This is a clean patchouli oh, mixed in with that blood orange. It is, I just, I really love this one. Really, really good. Frolic. Good. Uh, we have Rainbow Apothecary, which I did get two of, which I know I've said that this is kind of light, but I do like it. So her clamshells are $3.95. You guys, they have been that price since I've been buying from the bathing garden. Um, yeah, so incredibly reasonable. And let's take a look at what that is, because I did get two. Just beautiful. And Rainbow Apothecary is lemongrass, sandalwood, rosewood. Um, is it pronounced limon? And vetiver. And this is a uh, lush dupe for Smuggler Soul. So, again, I would say that you would enjoy this even if you're not a lemongrass fan. Because this does not, this is not heavy on lemongrass to me at all. Honestly, it's like barely detectable. It really is. I get more of that rosewood and sandalwood in here than anything else. And a hint of like the vetiver. So... Um, I would say that even if you don't love lemongrass, this is a good one. So again, this is Rainbow Apothecary. And I picked up another Rosemary Mint, which I think she had like available around Christmas. But I love this. I love her Rosemary Mint. It is true, true. Um, it's not like candy down or made to smell like anything else. This is beautiful rosemary mint and it's rosemary essential oil, garden grown peppermint and spearmint. And it is really good. And I'm happy to have another one. Again, clean scent to me. And the last clamshell is carrot cake. I've had this in her sample. And when I have warmed it, my husband has said to me that it smells like the best carrot cake ever. And that it didn't even smell like it was wax. So I'm honestly, I don't get really anything on it on cold. But that's fine. I'm not planning on melting it anytime soon. But look at this. How freaking cute is that carrot? And then this is meant to be like the cream cheese frosting. And it is carrot colored. And her carrot cake is just described as carrot cake and cream cheese frosting. But like I said, I'm just really not, maybe I get a hint of the cream cheese frosting. Um, this needs to do its thing for some time. Okay. I did get a couple of her jumbo clamshells. Huge fan of them. Never really started buying them until about a year or so ago. I always just got the small ones, but sometimes, you know. So her jumbo um, clamshells are $12.95. And you guys, they are jumbo and they come looking like this. Okay. And she always encloses or sends, I should say, a cute little... Um, like vintagey looking like note card to put in with like a sticker or a cutout just very you know that like brown paper bag looking simple um so if you wanted to gift these um clamshells these giant clamshells um i just hang on to these and i just send these as like little notes um because clearly i'm not gifting these so the first giant jumbo clamshell I got is in Snuggle Bunny. Let's see if I can get this to come slide off easily. And Snuggle Bunny is Cotton Blossoms, Sweet Lavender, Lilac, and Sugared Vanilla. And this is beautiful. This is a clean, soft, just super pretty scent, like relaxing. 
I would say beautiful anywhere in the home. And let us take a look. Do you see all the little, the cute little bunny heads? Beautiful. This smells really, really good. And I'm looking forward to warming this, which I will be doing soon. Um, these jumbo clamshells smell like ready to go. So I'm just going to put that off to the side. Actually, I'm going to move it because I need to, we need to talk about these guys in just a minute. And then of course the other clamshell, jumbo clamshell that I picked up is in her shirt, Champure Veda or Champur. I say Champure. I heard it pronounced different ways. So exactly like, um, if you've ever gone into an Aveda salon, it's that smell that you get right when you open the door. Like, you know that you're in an Aveda salon. Um, or if you use the Aveda products, you're very familiar with, with this scent. And I love this, and I've had this in clamshells before, and decided this was worth buying a jumbo clamshell. Oh, so good. So good. Again, very clean, pure scent. So really pretty. And the scent notes for the Champure Aveda are eucalyptus, lavender, sweet orange, bergamot, and ylang ylang. Um, do I really pick up sweet orange? Nope. But if you use the shampoo, you're very familiar. Or they also have like hand lotions. I mean, you guys know. So that is that. Super happy to have this. Okay. Like I said, a small order. Oh, and the card, the little card that came with this one. I think is this one the same. No, again, just like a brown note and then a little greenery there. So I do use the little gifts cards. Okay, and then let's talk about this. So how beautiful. I did take these off, so I didn't put them back on quite as nice. But look at that, they have like little polka dots on the ribbon. And this one is in the Blackberry Fudge scent. In this, look at this. I might keep these egg cartons for like decoration for Easter for next year. Am I crazy? Probably. But just love that like vintage look to it. So these sold for $12.95 and you get six of the eggs. I will open them up. Um, right there. And I am going to rebag these individually. I just don't want them losing scent. Clearly this egg carton is not a polypropylene. Oh, it smells so good. And the realistic look of these eggs. And they're pretty substantial. Um, so I would, I would say, let me tell you what the scent notes are. Sweet candied, Blackberries blended with vanilla, brown sugar fudge, and these smell really good. A very sweet blackberry. Mm. Uh, kind of candied, yeah. Yeah, kind of candied. So that is that. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I had to get this one too. So that is how gorgeous it came. Again, it was wrapped a lot nicer. I just kind of put that back on. And again, beautiful. These are her pastel cream eggs. Had to get these. Oh, goodness. Okay. So six different ones full of mica glittery -ness. And I have like touched these and all of that. So I'm going to close these so I can tell you guys the scent descriptions, but each one, each color represents a different scent. And these I'm definitely going to um, rebag. So the bright pink is sugared watermelon. The golden egg is sugared cookie dough. The orange egg is mango sorbet. The yellow is lemon custard pie. The white is marshmallow marzipan. That one is my least favorite on cold. And then the light pink is strawberries and cream, which the light pink, the strawberries on the strawberries and cream, this smells like strawberry candy. It smells really good. Um, the orange, which is the mango sorbet. Um, 
as a mango star, guys. Is that what I said? Yes, it, this smells really good. Creamy, creamy mango. Delicious. So, very happy um, to pick these beauties up. Again, like I said, it's not a huge order. I mean, I've hauled, I feel like the bathing garden had like stacks and stacks of clamshells. So, not a big purchase at all. Um, that's everything, you guys. I know going over the samples takes a really long time, but I wanted to be able to share with you guys what I did get. And um, I'm sure everybody that's interested in the bathing garden is really looking forward to the Alice in Wonderland um, collection dropping and being able to shop. I am going to sit that one out, but I look forward to watching everybody's hauls. And I'll be back with an empties. So take care. Hope everybody's having an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.